Using ESP Home, you can build your own custom sensors. In this and other upcoming videos, we will create an all-in-one sensor able to display a wide range of sensor data. We will start with a CO2 and volatile organic compound sensor. Seed Studio have kindly supplied us with some ESP32 modules and a number of sensor modules. You can use any type of ESP module or sensor, but for ease of build, check out Seed Studio's Grove system. This enables you to build devices quickly using a plug and play shield. Links to the various products are in the description below. Firstly, we need to install the ESP Home add-on. If you have followed our previous videos on ESP Home, you can skip this section. Go to Settings, Add-ons and click the Add-on Install. Scroll down to ESP Home and click it. Click Install. Once installed, enable any options and then click Start. Then open ESP Home. Click New Device. Click Continue. Give the module a name. You may also be prompted for your Wi-Fi credentials. If you have previously done this, the details will be saved. Select the device type. In this case, it's an ESP32 C3. Click the encryption key to save it. We need to modify the configuration before installing, so click Skip. You should see the device in the dashboard. Click Edit. Find the ESP32 section. We have posted the code needed for this specific board. This prompts the compiler to use the correct board and framework settings. Click Save, then click Install. Connect the board to a USB port on your Home Assistant device. Select Plug into the computer running ESP Home dashboard. Select the server port. ESP Home will now compile, upload and flash to the device. When you see finished successfully, click stop. Close the editing window and go back to the ESP Home dashboard. The device should be showing as online after it has restarted. Home Assistant will also notify you that it's found a new device. Click the notification and configure on the ESP sensor box. Click submit. Then click finish. You can visit the device properties. At the moment there's very little there. We have included some technical information and features about the ESP devices we are using. You can use any ESP32 module for this. As mentioned, the Seed Grove system uses a shield to connect sensors to the device. Shown on screen is the shield and its layout.
the specific sensor we're using, the SGP30 multi-pixel gas sensor, is shown on screen. However, you can use any sensor that an ESP32 device can read. To add the specific sensor information to the ESP sensor device, click Edit in the device tile. At the bottom of the file, add the sensor information as posted. Click Save and then click Install. Select wirelessly to update the device over Wi-Fi. Some devices may experience problems updating over Wi-Fi. If this happens to you, update using a USB cable as before. Once the screen says successfully uploaded program, click stop. Once the sensor is showing as online, go to the integration page to check out the ESP module. It should now be showing sensor data. This information can be added to your dashboard. You can use the data in automations or to monitor environmental information. In future videos, we will add more sensors to the module, turning this into a very useful multi-sensor. Using a number of these, you can set up a few all-in-one sensors covering every room in your house. There is a lot of technical information for the ESP32 board and associated sensors. Please see the information displayed and in the description for further details. Thank you for watching. Please like this video if you like what you saw. Please subscribe to our channel to see more videos like this. If you'd like to support the channel, please consider becoming a patron at our Patreon or join our channel. The details are below.